Welcome everyone to CV Clips, episode number 14, which is distal intestinal obstruction in a newborn. This baby is a day of life two infant who presented with distended abdomen and failure to pass meconium. Her physical examination included resistance above the anal canal on digital rectal exam. When we passed a six millimeter Hager dilator, she followed by passing meconium. The x-rays and the contrast study are shown to the right. The differential diagnosis of this case was raised by many who responded online and included the following conditions. However, the x-ray findings and the contrast enema in particular narrow the finalists to two things, one being an anorectal malformation of some kind or Hirschsprung disease. Hirschsprung disease, as we know, can be diagnosed on contrast enema, but confirmed on rectal biopsy, whereby, as Dr. Levitt suggested, the biopsy has to be done above the dentate line in the dilated segment in this case. However, looking carefully at the contrast studies, we can tell the difference between one that might be pathognomonic for Hirschsprung's disease on the left, which shows a transition zone and an inverted rectosigmoid ratio. However, the one of this child on the right shows a distance between the sacrum, which is malformed, and the anal canal, which is narrowed, suggestive of a presacral mass. The Hirschsprung's biopsy on this child demonstrated normal ganglion cells and normal calretinin staining, which is shown above. The child underwent an MRI, which was diagnostic for a presacral mass, and therefore a Curarino's triad was diagnosed. The child had a diverting colostomy with a divided stoma. In three months, the child underwent a contrast study to determine the length of colon, and then we proceeded to resect the presacral mass through a PSARP, an anterior approach, and finally pull the rectum down through the anus after a mucosectomy. The child has done well and is now five years old and has intact continence.